Hello everyone and welcome back for another video here on the channel. For my returning subscribers, thank you as always for returning and joining me on another video. Today's video we will be getting into our favorite thing which I think we all enjoy and of course I am talking about some cash envelope stuffing. So if you are interested in seeing how I budget out my paycheck and how much money I will be putting into my envelopes then just keep on watching. All right, so as I said, we will be doing another cash envelope stuffing and looking at our calendar, we will be working with my second paycheck that I received within April from my full-time job and I got that paycheck on April 23rd. So of course, we're going to budget that out, put money in our cash envelopes and then make a contribution towards our debt snowball. If you are new here, this channel focuses on finances and budgeting and using the cash envelope system. I also document my debt-free journey with how I am eliminating my debt with the help of the debt snowball method. So if you want to get motivated, if you want to learn, or if you just want someone else to help support you on your journey, go ahead, click that subscribe button, join the family because I would love to have you. But now that we have the introductions out of the way and we know what we are doing, let's go ahead and get started with first budgeting out my paycheck. So here we have my budget paycheck breakdown sheet. This is what I like to use every time I get paid from my full-time job and it helps me budget out my paycheck. So if you're interested in this paper, I do have a whole kit for budgeting per month within my Etsy shop. It's a digital download and you can go ahead, print them out right at your house and get started with your budgeting. The link for that is always left down in the description. So as I said, we will be working with paycheck number two from April and I already went ahead and listed all of the categories so we will just go over the amounts. So within my expenses, first up we have the second half for my rent that will be due on May 1st. So I will be putting away $635. Following that is my PSCNG, so this is my gas and electric bill. Currently at the moment, I did not get an actual statement to see how much I owe, so I just budgeted $100 and hopefully it will be under that because I haven't been using my heat as much, but I'm gonna put $100 aside and then if I have more that I need to owe, I do have a little buffer within my account and I will take the funds out of there. But for now, $100 should be good enough. After that is my files for my internet. This will be due on the 24th, and that's gonna be a total of $60. And then I have gas for my car for the next two weeks, and I'm going to put $30 away for that. So everything within the expense column, I do not take physical cash out for. I leave them in my checking account because they're either on auto pay or it's just a lot of money that I don't feel like keeping within my house. So if we total all of this up, that gives us a grand total of $825. Following that, we move over now to the cash portion. Here we see I have my car insurance, which is the second half, and this will be due on the 25th of this month. So to complete it, I will be putting away $98 so that I can make the payment on the 25th. After that is my Great Lakes for the second half. I already paid the minimum, so to go with my snowball method, I will be putting the second half of $220 away for my Great Lakes. After that, this is all of the things that I keep within my wallet 24 seven. These remain the same every two weeks. So spending will get 40. Groceries is getting 100. Toiletries will get 45. Clothing is getting 10. And eating out will get 20. So after we add up everything within my cash portion, that gives me a total of $533. Over here, we see I have my sinking funds. At the moment, I am not currently trying to fund my sinking funds with my full-time paycheck. I am really trying to do my side hustles and really fund my sinking funds there. So for now, this is going to be blank. So we can go ahead and move on to my extra debt. Extra debt is my student loans, which is again at Great Lakes. And from this paycheck, we'll be able to put aside $226. As for my savings, this will be left blank. 
And then for my rollover, this is what I like to feed for my buffer or my cushion. I always put $5 aside to build that a little bit. So that is what I will be putting there. And then down here to get my total that I will be withdrawing from the bank today, I just add this 533 plus this 226. So that gives me a grand total of $759 that I will be withdrawing. So now that I've figured out what the amounts for everything is going to be, I will next decide how I wanna do my denomination breakdowns, and then I will go to the bank, get the cash, and then when I come back, we will go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes. All right guys, so I have returned from the bank. So of course, this is our cash. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, lay this out, so we can go ahead and get started. This is the little bank slip that I gave to the teller so she knew exactly how to break up the denominations. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so we are all set up. As always, we have the money up at the top within this binder is where I keep my sinking funds and my debt snowball. These are the cash envelopes that I use for my bills that I split. And then these are the cash dividers that I keep within my wallet 24 seven. So as always, I'm going to set these things to the side so that we can get started with our cash envelopes. So first up we see we have car insurance and we said that car insurance was getting $98. So we can do a 50, two 20s, a five and three ones. So that should give us the 98, 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97 and 98. So within my car insurance, I already have a hundred dollars and my Car insurance payment every month is 198 so now we see that I have the total amount and I am ready to make the payment on that. After my car insurance is Great Lakes, so Great Lakes is getting 220 so we can do two $100 bills and a 20 so one, two, and 20, so that makes our 220 So I will put that right in here and that is for Great Lakes. So my two cash envelopes are ready and I will set these to the side. So after that is now my cash dividers. As we know, within my cash dividers, I am doing the dollar challenge. So any dollars that I come across, I will take them out. So first up is spending. Spending we said is getting $40. So a 20, a 10, and two fives will give us 40. 20, 30, 35, and 40. So within my spending, I do not have any singles. So we will just add that to my total. And for a total within spending, I now have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. So $75 within my spending. Up next is groceries. Groceries will be getting $100. And we do all of that in 20s. So five 20s will give us 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, $100. And then let's see if we have any singles. We do, so I will set that over here. And once I add that, now within my groceries, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105, 10, and 15. So $115. And that will help me for the next two weeks within my groceries. After that, we see we have toiletries. Toiletries will be getting $45. So two 20s and a five will give us 45, 20, 40, and 45. And as for singles, I do have some. So I will set that to the side. And now for a total within toiletries, I have 20, 40, 45, and 50. I am in the need of doing some laundry, so that is most likely what this money will be going towards. So after toiletries, up next is clothing. Clothing is getting $10, so a $10 bill. 
and we do not have any singles within clothing so that gives us a total of 20 40 50 and 60 dollars within my clothing up next is eating out eating out is getting 20 dollars, so we can do a 20 dollar bill and we do have some singles so we will put that to the side and now i have 20 30 so 30 dollars for eating out all right, as for my miscellaneous, this is what I use for any time that I purchase things online and I know that I owe myself money or if I happen to be in a store where they don't accept cash and I use my debit card to swipe, this is where I know to put the money to owe myself back. So that will be getting nothing. And then we can go ahead and add these dividers back into my wallet. So they just fit in the back like that. And of course, our next step is now doing our challenges. So for my singles, what I do is I add them to this jar right here. And then at the end of the year, we will count it and see how much I have saved up. So for this week within my dollars, I saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to our jar. All right, there we go. So that is our dollar jar. And then after our dollar jar, we have my coin jar. So this is the same concept. Any coins that I save for the past two weeks, I put them in the jar. And then at the end of the year, we will see how much I saved. All right, so there we go. The coins have now been accounted for. So once we finish all of that, the only thing left now is our binder. So within the binder, the only thing I should be stuffing today is my debt snowball. So we said we were making $226 for extra debt snowball payment. So that is what I should have left. So if we count this, that is 100, 220, 25, and 26. So 226. So now I can go ahead and add that to my debt snowball that I have been saving up for the month. So every month I save up what I can, put that towards my debt snowball, and then see how much we save. So if we count this so far within the month of April, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So $1,000, and then we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. So $1,084 we have saved up as a debt snowball payment, which is amazing. So I still have one more paycheck that I am doing for my side income for the month of April. And then after that, we will get our final count for my debt snowball and then make that deposit. But as of now, guys, that is all I have for today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it down in the comments below so that we can keep up and chat with one another. If you enjoyed the video, of course, give it a thumbs up because that really helps and supports the channel. And if you have not, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join the family so you do not miss any of my next videos. But for now, that's all I have and I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye guys.